he's a poet, he's an MC. He's about to come and give y'all something spectacular. Are y'all ready? Yeah. I wanna hear very loud up in here for Black Chakra. He had the same stern face when he was telling me about your poems. And he was like, damn, I might not want to hurt that shit. He's so right. It was just the most fucking amazing experience in high school. So I wrote this love piece with some girls from high school. And um, it kind of encompasses from high school to college. I would often imagine the perfect girl. But being the one labeled as black ass and nerd, I never thought I would ever get the chance to meet her. But I. Nerd and hopeless romantic was, found, was lucky enough to find the one eight times. Like dying and being reincarnated in different love affairs. She was perfect. Her name was Jasmine, a ballet dancer. My heart began to mimic her melodic movements, twisting, contorting. My shoulders began supporting her heavy burdens at last. I got to be someone's atlas. Went for a kiss, found her lips were cactus, said she was reserving them for someone who could withstand her desert, and then I was deserted. Her name was Lauren. This type of perfection was forward to any connection I ever experienced on New Year's Eve. We held like we lived in a world without hell. Staring at an angel, you could believe this, but I guess her boyfriend was Jesus, and my heart's resurrection was in the biblical cards. Her name was Michelle. Let's go. She was a poet and singer, but more than that, she liked movies. We made love like politicians make war, and occasionally we fought ferociously to forget our flaws. But when the lights came on, I saw that she was a nympho, and she saw that I was a nobody. An unemployed rhymer who tried to redefine her when she had symphony. This child's eyes reminded me of all the guys she left me for. So me I deserve better. Told me I need a girl who could give me what I wanted. I just wanted someone to read comic books with. Her name was Tanisha. Her body was covered in many Mona Lisa's. She was art, she thought I was too. Picasso, my face disjointed. My, likes, my looks always disappointed. My light-skinned friend, though, would be the perfect crescendo to the orchestra of her love life. When they broke up and she miscarried his child, I thought to myself, we could have made better music than this. Her name was Samantha, the answer to my prayers. White girl, colored hair, skin was fair in this world that isn't. Her child's eyes made me fix her. I began to picture mulatto mixtures. This little girl made me imagine what being a daddy would feel like, and it felt right. But Samantha was like an injured athlete. She couldn't handle the stairs. Or a man that treated her fair. Sleeping with my friends was her way of showing me what our chances were. Her name was Beth. Caucasian as well, but she was hip-hop holy. She listened to so much rap music that when she would hold me, I could freestyle to her heartbeat. But our conversations were offbeat. Rivalous rotations of rhetoric I never thought that distance would become a factor. But when we broke up, I lost the beat. Fired the DJ myself, and it's a mixtape I regret not making to this day. Her name was Sianna. I knew the answer to all we alone in the universe. This is the girl who loved everything I loved and cared for everything I cared for. It's no wonder you would get with my cousin. You were my entire solar system, and I was just the bleach stain in your galaxy. Her name is Nakia. The whisper of blood and the syllable. She's a poet, and I can tell that she's into me. Inspiration's what she's given me. I like her like a simile. Guess that's what I met her for. To metamorph these words, not into time capsules or jewels, but reminders that sometimes finding the one is a multiple choice that you make it wrong, but when you circle the right one, let them know it every day. Because in my experience, you don't know when your last will be. I would often imagine the perfect girl. Never did I imagine she'd be this perfect, this beautiful. It's mine. Yeah.